Hello and welcome to the Lonely Viking YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at an awesome product, um, WordPress plugin for getting feedback from your clients and it's called Project Huddle and it makes it super easy to get feedback from your clients um, in a visual way where they can literally just click on the site and leave messages. Um, and so I wanted to take a look at that, show you how awesome it is, show you how to set up a website. Um, so let's have a look at that. We're here on the projecthuddle.com uh, page and you can go and try a demo out if you want to. Let's actually go and do that uh, live website. Let's launch the demo. Just so that you can see before I jump into setting it up how it works. So let's say that we're not a robot and then create a demo. And there are some recent upgrades to Project Huddle in the latest version that I think are just amazing. Um, so that page is loading and once it's loaded you should see a little welcome message and, and the first time your client gets onto the site uh, that you've put this on, this is what they're going to see. And so you can click OK and then as you can see there's a little bar at the bottom in the middle of the page and this is cool. You can move it to wherever you want, you can collapse it to make it smaller and as you can see you can brand it with your own logo. Um, and over here, if you click here, you can see it opens in the side here, all the comments that have been made over here takes you to all the different pages on the site. Um, here's activity for all the different members of your project. So if you have a team working on a site, uh, the client can approve the page and they can hide comments. So Let's go ahead and add a comment. Here's one over here. You can move them around if you want to. Um, if your client wants to add a comment, we actually use this internally as well. So between team members and you'll see you can tag um, people and assign tasks to them. So you just click on the comment button and then you hover to wherever you want. And let's say we wanted to um, make our menu bar have some more padding. So we click over there and say um, more top and bottom padding please if you're a well-mannered person and then um, you can assign this to yourself or to any of your other team members who are set up in your uh, main project huddle site which we will look at soon and then um, other things you can do is you can mention people. So let me mention Project Huddle there. And if you have the file uploads add-on, you can actually upload um, images or uh, PDFs or um, Word docs or whatever. And so then your client can actually give you content for a section or something like that, for example. Once you're done, you click Add Comment and the comment is there and then everyone else can respond to you and they can tag you and assign it to other people it's actually super cool so your clients will be able to come and do that and then when you come to the site you can click on comments and these will show you comments on the current page that you're on uh, which you can see here it says um, current page and if you say all pages it will show you all comments on all pages and if there are comments on other pages, you can click on a link. It will take you to the page and open up the comment. Um, once a task is um, completed and everyone's happy, then you can click resolve and that will make that green and then it will actually be hidden the next time you load the page, if I remember correctly. Um, again, this little, uh, yeah, you see it's hidden already. This little um, eye icon um, if you click it, it hides the, it hides these so that you can see the page without them. So that's essentially, so that's essentially how Project Huddle works um, on the front end. And so I'm going to run through quickly with you how to set this up on a website. 
So the way we've done it is we have um, a separate WordPress installation where we have Project Huddle running. And if you have a look in the menu bar on the left here, you'll see a menu item called Project Huddle. Um, Project Huddle actually works with um, images as well. So you, you've got two things over here. You'll see websites and mockups. Mockups are like, let's say, uh, you could use it for graphic design work, but also let's say you've, you've designed a wireframe in Photoshop. You could upload that image and they can comment on the image before you actually start um, doing the development work on the website. So that's very cool as well. Um, but I'm going to just stick to websites for this and I'm going to show you how you can add a website. So if I click on websites over here, uh, you can see we've got a bunch of our um, current projects, client sites that we're working on, um, which I have um, blurred out. But these are all of them over here. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a website. So I click on add website at the top. You can also do that from the menu over here if you would like. Okay, and now I'm going to be installing this on a website that we own um, called workparty.co.za. So I'm going to jump back into our uh, project huddle site. Over here I'm going to name this site. I'm going to call it workparty. And I'm going to um, paste the URL in over here. And then I'm just going to click next. So next is the connect step, which you're going to see um, there are two options here. So you can connect to a WordPress site or to something else. Now this is something super cool about Project Huddle is that it works by putting a Java, uh, a little snippet of JavaScript into the site that you're working on. So although Project Huddle is a WordPress plugin, it works on client sites that are not necessarily WordPress. So what's cool about that is you could use it to get feedback from your clients if they're on Wix or Squarespace or Shopify or even on a custom web app that you might have built with like Laravel or React or something like that, which is something that we've done. We've used this on custom web apps. And so that's something that I really love about it. Although it's built uh, to run in WordPress, it actually can be used outside of WordPress to get client feedback, and that's great. For this, in, uh, and so for us, even on WordPress sites, we usually use Google Tag Manager to uh, insert the script, because we like to use Google Tag Manager to manage all of the scripts running on the site. But for this, the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to do it the WordPress way. So we, we'll click on WordPress. And then what you've got to do here is give the username and password for that site. So I've got my username and password now. I'm going to put that in over here. And then I'm going to click Connect and install the child plugin. Okay, so that's opened up this uh, WordPress installer. And as you can see, that is on my work party domain. And I'm going to click install now. And activate the plugin. And that's fine. Uh, Let's see. Can allow guests to comment. Let's say that. That's cool. Cool. Those settings are saved. And so I assume we just close here. To be honest, I've never actually used this WordPress plugin, but there we go. It's connecting and verifying. And there we go. There's our new project. And now you'll see here it's got a URL with a um, little uh, fancy little URI uh, that says access token and it's got an access token in it. So if you take that URL, let's copy it. And because we allowed guests in the child plugin, I assume that if I go to an incognito window, 
and I follow that URL. So that's what you would send to your client is that uh, fancy URL. And what we should find when the page loads is the welcome message. There we go for Project Huddle. And as you can see, we could we have um, created our own colors for this. So your client will then go OK, click on OK, and they can then start making comments, which is, man, I can't spell today. What is that? Okay, and they can assign it to project members. I'm the only one at the moment. Now, once they click add comment, it's going to ask them to sign up. And what that does is it actually creates a user for them. Um, if I go to here, it will create a user for them here in your project, in your um, project huddle instance of WordPress. Cool, so as you can see, that is a super cool way for your clients to give you feedback inside of WordPress. And so I encourage you to check out work, uh, not work party, to check out Project Huddle. Um, I would ask you that if you like this video, that you actually like it. And if you found it helpful or you think other people would find it helpful, please share it. Uh, that would be really great. Um, I do have a link to Project Huddle in the bottom. There's an affiliate link and a non-affiliate link, so you get to choose whichever one of those you'd like. And if you do have any questions about Project Huddle, drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, let me know, and I'll do what I can to make those. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.